Well, our top story this morning here in Ontario is the plan to unveil the timeline timeline for the stage three portion of the province's reopening. What does that mean for some of the businesses that are trying to navigate navigate reopening right now, particularly retailers? Let's get some perspective from Farla Efro. She's the president of HRC Retail Advisory, a longtime industry consultant and executive. Farla, thanks for being with us. And we were talking with Colin DeMello of CTV News earlier, who said at the end of the day, once the businesses get the guidance from the government, it's in their hands to figure figure out what feels right and not everybody goes at the same pace. What have you been hearing and seeing from retailers? So uh, so I think that uh, retailers actually are, um, this is a true opportunity for them to really redesign uh, their marketing plan. And I think it's really, uh, it has to be a plan that's extremely nimble. What you're seeing, it really starts with truly being empathetic and to addressing all the different customers' needs. Because at the end of the day, all these customers, how they feel today, they're all at different spectrums in terms of where they are from uh, from their age standpoint and how they feel about even entering back into the retail environment, especially malls. And so you're really seeing that customers today um, are obviously a bit on the nervous side and retailers' job today is really just to uh, be very open and honest about the protocols they have in place and share those with those customers to really drive them into the store. Farla, you've come with some examples today for our audience, so I want to go through some of them individually. Sure. Let's start in the grocery sector. Obviously, those retailers have been quite busy during the pandemic and have gotten yeah. a sense on how customers are feeling. Let's talk about Whole Foods, which, of course, is, is owned by Amazon now. What have you seen in how they have communicated with customers? So uh, I think, they're they, first of all, they have very clear navigation even before you get into the store um, they put up their protocols, their expectations. You clean your hands before you enter the store. Um, and it, it's, it's a very safe environment. They have, like everybody else, I mean, retail, I, I would say that grocery stores truly took the charge early in the very early days with the navigation um, that they have and how they're even, where they even tell you to stand to, to pay. So it's all, um, you know, hands free in a sense. So they've done, you know, not only Whole Foods, but even. Sobeys and Loblaws have done such a great job of really uh, building that confidence from that consumer. Okay, that's a good example. Let's talk about um, American Eagle, which is a very well-known name, obviously, yeah. and I think that the, yeah. there's a pretty compelling case for people to just buy online right now. So if they are going to yeah. the store um, with some of these clothing players, what have you seen with American Eagle? So that's another great example. They, um, obviously, as you go in, they ask you uh, a bunch of questions around where you've been. They provide you masks. So if you, if by accident, if you forgot to come with a mask, they're actually providing you the mask. They're asking you to clean your hands. They're limiting the uh, the number of people that can come into the stores. When they put you into the change rooms, it's almost a touchless, uh, touchless environment. It's every other change room. They're really doing such a great job. And the folks that are actually greeting you at the door are so um, excited um, that they're really building that confidence that you want to go in there and you want to try things on. So I think they've really uh, taken the lead. And I think with all the benefits that they're providing you as well, I just think it makes it much more appealing and feel from a, from a safety environment, especially for the younger generation that are going into that store. Well, I'm glad you mentioned the younger generation because a lot of times it's not just how we feel, uh, it's family units. You know, I've got daughters yeah. and uh, there are retailers like Justice, for example, where we used to go yeah. there. It was, it was kind of a fun experience to go there. But you're specifically highlighting <laughs> Justice and Old Navy uh, as examples of, you know, trying to put people's, um, maybe some of the, ease some of the concerns. What have you experienced with those two retailers? So those as well, because those are obviously the. I think the the difference in those retailers compared to an Air, to American Eagle, especially on Justice, it's younger children, right? So it's really harder to, in a sense, temper what they do because they just want to run into the stores you know, and those stores are obviously they have they're packed with uh, a ton of different items. So what you've seen Justice do, and they did a great job. They've really uh, cleared out the space. Uh, they've allowed still for the for the kids to to run around, um, but in a much more safe environment. So I, I really think that you're you're seeing all these retailers really put their best foot forward in regards to the things to do. Um, and I, the other one that I talked about, which was, I mean, always an impressive retailer is Lululemon. Um, they really have a virtual waiting list. And I think that's such an innovative opportunity because at the end of the day, I mean, you've seen it, right? There's line there's lineups everywhere. 
And so at the end of the day, I give them my cell phone number, which is very smart on their hand in, in, in that sense from a strategic standpoint. And then they text me when my, when my time is ready. Um, and when you go in mm. there, actually, um, it's completely touchless. So you don't even have to open the door to go into the change room. And so these are, I think this is a real, you know, I talk about this all the time. I think this is a real opportunity for retailers to truly uh, try different methods from a marketing uh, from a marketing standpoint. And for those that really don't want to be in the store, well, you know, that's why we have curbside pickup. That's why we obviously have the online. Uh, that's why, in a sense, we should be having, you know, what they refer to as silver hours. So you see that Shoppers Drug Mart and the, and the grocery stores have silver hours. Um, that's why yeah. a lot of the retailers that are high-touch environments, like the apples of the world, have appointments. So you go in at your own time, you get a specified appointment, um, and you can get done what you want to get done because it's all about building the confidence. And as you know, during this pandemic and no different to everybody else, every single day is a different day. So be creative, be nimble, as you say. Hey, Farla, thanks very much. Yeah. Really appreciate the insight as always. Farla Efros, president of HRC.